never seen anything like that. Apparently, as you can see right here, <laughs> we're losing the coolant and uh, all around the place, basically, on an edge. Uh, never hear about that kind of problems in there. The coolant is just uh, dripping it down. So, yep, yeah, uh, let's get a new coolant tank and we're gonna have a new video how to change the coolant reservoir. Okay, late night. We got a new coolant tank. I mean, it's not new. And we need to remove those clamps or wherever. We can just simply undo the housing, the small vacuum pipes. Then, returning line. Just got that clamp. Okay. All good. Two 10 mil screws. want to see how much cord left in there it does feel like nothing um it's empty it's still something there but it's kind of good i'm not gonna be spelling anything as you can see we got a little pin here just gotta undo it okay we got that okay we got a big screwdriver and now we can Lower it out the actual connector. Pretty tight in there. Okay. Nice, not nice. Okay. It's cooling in there. Also, at the bottom we have a sensor. So we gotta. Undo that this way, and basically ready to get the new coin tank. I hope the sensor is working just fine. Let's connect the sensor back. It's just a little, just uh, up. Get the coolant line. Connect it back with the clamp and wait for a click. I'll use the screwdriver and try to lower it and we'll see if it sits just fine. And apparently it does. Now we can place the tank, a couple of screws in there. I feel like we have hella lots of coal at the bottom of the car. It is what it is. <laughs> also we gotta make sure uh, the lines, okay, one of these lines are I just pop it off, uh, which is from the bottom of the boost canister. Booster, how you call it? I feel like I got that. Then the return line is supposed to go on the proper spot. It's supposed to just slide on. Oh, this one is a little smoother. Open up the screws. That's it. Filled up with the water. We'll see what's gonna happen in a little bit. I'm just waiting here. And we're just checking um, whenever the car gonna warms up, we're gonna have it. So if there is no leaks in there, we'll see. Uh, 200 degrees around that. Uh, the oil temperature, cone level is okay. We're gonna double check it tomorrow morning and we're gonna post the video in a bit. So if you guys like the video, please put that thumbs up button there, subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below. I'll see you in the next one.